Hi, how's it going? My name's Kyle. I've been a dialysis patient since 2013. So over the years, I've been on multiple modalities and uh, also learn a few things about dialysis. So that's what this channel is focused on talking about. Today, we're going to talk about fluid management and how to keep cool, especially on the hot weather days. So as a dialysis patient, sometimes your temperature changes. You don't feel the same temperature that everybody else does. And uh, even during the summertime, my perfect range is about from 65 degrees Fahrenheit to about 85 degrees. So those are my low and the high. If it's below that, or even sometimes when the weather changes from 80 degrees to 65 in the same day, I get cold and I'm gonna to wanna to put a jacket on. If it's too hot or too warm, I like to have the air conditioning on or a fan, depending on how hot it is, okay? Um, so it's important to keep your temperature well so that you feel good. Uh, not just besides the treatments. Another thing that helps me during the summer to keep cool and regular hydrate is I drink water. I don't drink sodas too much. I don't drink um, any other sugary stuff too much because sometimes, I, in my opinion, sugar doesn't really help you. It's not even good for uh, healthy folks. Uh, it's known to be an infl inflammatory agent and I just don't need that. And sometimes if I have too much sugar, I crash an hour or two later from that sugar rush, so I just stick to regular water. This is one of my water bottles I do. Um, I know it doesn't have the measurements right on here. However, this one keeps the cold temperature cold. It keeps the hot beverages warm during the winter, so it's very helpful. And I know this is about 12 ounces here on this when I bought it, so I looked at it and do that. Uh, most days on Hemo, I will drink one or two of these. And what I do is fill it up with ice first and then put the water in so that it takes up the volume. And then to help me manage my fluids in terms of how much I'm drinking, because sometimes you have fluid restrictions on dialysis, especially on in center heel, um, I will pay attention to this and make myself work a little bit harder when I have to refill it. So I fill it with ice, then I add the water in there. I drink some water, a small sips at a time when I need it. And over time, if you're new, it just takes some time to adjust, okay? Um, and also if you're new, eliminate as much of the excess sodium and sugars because those things do make you more thirsty and wanna drink more. So if you drink a lot of sodas or not, whatnot, there's a reason why you drink a lot of sodas because that sugar and sort of the caffeine, the chemicals makes you want more and more. So if you sort of try to eliminate that and start cutting back on those, then you start adjusting to the fluid levels um, that you're restricted to if you have restrictions. Um, so I drink the water, once I drink the water down, um, I wait for the ice to melt before I drink some more. Sometimes I get extra thirsty, so I'll refill a little bit earlier. But most days, I can wait for the ice to melt, just let it sit there. Again, this is well insulated for hot or cold, and um, it's a metal, 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 metal water bottle. And um, so it'll keep my beverages cold or warm as I like those, depending on what the season is. So that's a little bit about fluid management and how I keep cool during the hot weather days. Hopefully you enjoy this topic. If you do, please click like. And then if you're new with us, do go down below and click the subscribe button, ring the little bell so you get notifications when new vlogs come out. And as usual, please do comment below if you have any questions, if you have other tips that helps folks in terms of fluid management and how to keep cool during different weather. Uh, that's heated and if you have other topic suggestions please do comment below on that as well so that we can try and uh, talk about those in future vlogs okay I hope you enjoyed it thanks for joining me today enjoy your journey on dialysis and again keep up with your treatment so you can do all the things you love to do with the people you love to do it with